Let's shift our focus to the developments that have taken place in terms of the ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization and the satellites placed on its maiden small satellite launch vehicle that are in fact no longer usable at the SSLV D1, placed them in an elliptical orbit instead of a circular one. It said failure of a logic to identify a sensor failure and go for a salvage action caused the deviation. The agency said a committee would analyze and make recommendation into the episode, adding that uh, with the implementation of those recommendations, ISRO will come back soon with SSLV D2. We in fact are joined by former ISRO chief G. Madhavan Nair. Let's go across to him. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Good evening to you. Uh, what is your assessment of the situa situation as to what went wrong? Of course, ISRO now saying that we will make a comeback soon. We will come back with SSLV D2. Uh, well, uh, first of all, uh uh, my uh, condolence to the uh, school t children who have really toiled for uh, uh, years together and finally put together a small satellite and wanted to have the benefit of launching it at the anniversary of the independence. Uh, at the same time, let me also congratulate the ISRO uh, for making this launch. Uh, I will say a partial success. Uh, well, uh, all the new rocket motors, uh, three stages, have performed to the satisfaction, to the specification. And uh, also it has taken the spacecraft to the desired altitude of uh, 365 kilometers. Uh, but as uh, Dr. Somnath in his uh, uh, interview has mentioned, that uh, the small glitch which has uh, taken place mm. towards the end of the mission has caused this anomaly. Uh, it is not only that the spacecraft should reach the altitude, but it should be given the desired velocity and the direction of the velocity should be correct and so on. For this, uh, uh, ISRO depends on the inertial navigation systems. And we have been flying the inertial navigation system in PSLV, GSLV, and all the missions successfully. But in this mission, uh, it's, I understand that it's a new uh, type of uh, package which has been introduced and uh, it has been tested out thoroughly on the ground and we were satisfied. But at the same time, in flight, uh, some glitches come, which has derailed the performance of the, uh, the uh, orientation mm -hmm. and the command system in the last instance. And that is what has caused the mission failure, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the details has to be worked out by this expert team. And uh, if it is only a small glitch like this, it can be fixed uh, within a very short time, mm. and you should be able to spring back uh, to the next launch uh, as quickly as possible. Right. To come up uh, with a rocket in sh such a uh, short span, of course, is commendable and uh, is a huge success. But what do you think this means for India's space market dreams? Uh, well, I think uh, uh, I will not say a setback in the sense, you know, this demand is going to increase for the small satellites by the universities, institutions, and the student community, and so on. And uh, definitely it is going to be there, and we have to quickly get into the market. Uh, at the same time, it is important that uh, the uh, production of this uh, rocket system is taken up by industry, and then only we can meet the demands uh, globally. Uh, this is a very cost-effective vehicle, which has been conceived a few years back, and uh, as you have mentioned, uh, within a very short time, ISRO has come out with this new configuration and very successfully demonstrated all the rocket systems, the power plants have worked very perfectly well. And not only that, associated controls, guidance, everything has worked until the last minute. Right, absolutely. Do you also believe that this glitch should not take away from the fact that it was a historic mission, the liftoff was successful? Uh, well, certainly rocketry is a high-risk game, and uh, we have to take this in all such missions, and there's a finite element of failure. And many countries have failed several times before they achieve. We, our own experience shows that we have checkered history. Alternate launches have gone into uh, some failure mode, and uh, that again finally turned out it is some small uh, error uh, somewhere uh, I will not say uh, man-made or anything. It is uh, because of the learning curve. We had to learn many things new. And uh, because of the lack of understanding of some of the things, uh, perhaps we make some mistake 
and that is what leads to such mission failure right now like you said the launch was historic the fact that it uh, uh, the agency the students they came up with a rocket in a, sh in a short span uh, but as a former isro chief in your journey while heading the agency have you witnessed such glitches well certainly i have uh, my career itself started with the the uh, failure of the first uh, satellite launch slv3 mm. which uh, dr kalam and uh, we all put together and launched it there again it was a similar situation all the rocket motors function but finally the satellite ended up in the uh, bay of bengal uh, similarly in the pslv where uh, i was a project director i have faced a failure similar to this and all the rocket system function because of a small small uh, uh, software glitch uh, the entire mission uh, failed uh, so we had the uh, experience of failures but the strength of isro is that uh, we, uh, the isro team will not be deterred by these disturbances they go into the root cause and fix it and the problems which occur in such occasions will not repeat and that's a kind of track record isro had and as you know the pslv itself after the first launch they didn't have to look back it was almost a series of success leading to about 95% success rate which is perhaps best in the world so similarly this rocket also will emerge as a very powerful tool for commercializing the space transportation system mm. you know since the inaugural flight has not given the desired result do you do you think the future of sslv uh, looks grim at this point of time not at all because as i mentioned the the, the power of taking the space trap to the required altitude and giving the velocity is given by the three rocket motors all the rocket motors are performed well the final uh, trimming of the velocity that is where uh, some glitches come hmm. either it could be due to some sensor or some software or in the computer system or whatever it is but that could be fixed in a within a very short time and we should be able to simulate uh, those uh, reasons and uh, conditions of failure and make sure that such this doesn't repeat for the future Right, this though definitely is the second loss for ISRO in just a span of one year. But ISRO has a lot to celebrate, given the perfect track record that it has had, uh, that it has been able to develop. I would say in the past couple of years of la uh, launching satellites. Um, certainly, we have not only met the requirements of the country for launching the Earth observation satellites or the communication satellites or scientific satellites, going to the Mars, going to moon etc uh, so that way the isro has been maintaining a very good track record mm. and the failure rate uh, on the whole if you take for the uh, let's say last 20 years or so it is far less than what uh, in similar missions other even other developed countries have faced so that way we can be proud of our achievement mm. and uh, certainly given the encouragement and the ambience isro should be able to perform uh, much better and take the old country to much greater heights of glory in the coming days. Right, before I let you go, uh, what would be your advice or, uh, you know, words of encouragement for the students and the current team that handled the project? Uh, well, certainly, you know, the uh, my guru, Dr. Abdul Kalam, used to say, if the failure is a better teacher than success. Yes, I do believe so. I have also gone through a similar phase. I have learned from failures. And that is what has led to subsequent successes. So the children should not be disheartened by the small glitch. Mm. Uh, definitely they can come back with a better satellite and uh, with much better performance and be in the precise orbit and enjoy the benefit of space exploration mm. uh, using these sort of facilities. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nair, for joining us, for giving us your time and for putting things into perspective. Thank you very much.